A mother would never have imagined that she would see a photo of her son next to a little boy identical to him, and what she would discover about that boy would make her world fall apart. That morning, Helena woke up with the feeling that something was different. It had been an intense night, marked by a recurring dream that she had for years, but on this occasion, it had unfolded in an unusual way. As she woke up, the image of the dream still hung in her mind, clear and disturbing. What a strange feeling, she thought as she headed for the kitchen. She started her morning preparing breakfast and packing up her son Lucas's things so that she could take him to school. A morning just like any other. But with every move, the dream came back to her mind, like an echo that didn't want to be silenced. In her memories of this recurring dream, Helena always saw Lucas playing happily with another boy, a boy whose face she couldn't see clearly. They were running together through an open field, laughing and shouting with joy. A place that was very reminiscent of the park she loved to take her son to on weekends. However, it always ended when Lucas approached his mother, saying that he had someone important to introduce to her. Then she would wake up, always frustrated at not knowing who that little boy was. However, this time the dream took a different turn. Lucas and the mysterious boy were in a new environment, an open, sunny place that resembled the boy's school playground. The scene then changed to Helena's house, where her son came through the door with a smile on his face, saying he had a surprise for her. In the dream, Lucas approached her with a photo in hand, but before she could see it, she woke up abruptly. Sitting at the kitchen table, while the coffee bubbled away in the kettle, the woman wondered what that dream meant, if it meant anything at all. Why was she repeatedly dreaming about this other boy? And why, this time, did the dream take her all the way to her son's school and then back home? Despite her doubts and the strange feeling that dream left her, Helena continued with her routine. She finished preparing breakfast, woke up her son and helped him get ready for school. As she drove to the school, she still couldn't stop thinking about the dream and the photo Lucas was trying to show her. But life had to go on, right? Helena went to work and tried to live her life normally that day. She worked as an attendant in a cell phone accessories store, nothing very glorious or that paid well. But it was enough to support her and her little one. The woman attended to many people during her working hours, sold millions of cases for cell phones and tablets, but although she tried to push away that dream, she had no idea that reality was about to intertwine with it. What fate had in store for her that day would transform her life in ways Helena could never have imagined. The mother picked up her son from school, and the two of them went home. The school was full-time, which helped the woman who worked until 5 p.m. It was an autumn afternoon, and the golden rays of the sun reflected the happiness of the little boy who, for some reason, was happier that day. Helena noticed his excitement and asked how his day had been. Was everything all right at school today, honey? Was there anything cool? The little boy started telling her about the morning when he met a new student and how they hit it off right away. The woman was overjoyed, as her son wasn't one to make friends easily. So having a friend who made him happy warmed that mother's heart. How nice, did you have fun today? She asked, getting out of the car and opening the door to the house. However, the little one didn't even wait for her to enter and with an expression of pure excitement, he said, it was really cool today, mom, and you won't believe it, but I have a twin brother at school he exclaimed, his eyes shining with excitement. Helena, who was getting ready to start cooking dinner, stopped for a moment and looked at him, confused. What do you mean a twin brother, Lucas? Did you two get on so well? She asked, thinking it was just the innocence of a child who really liked a new friend, although a mixture of surprise and disbelief could be seen in her voice. No, Mom, it's true. He looks exactly like me, Lucas insisted, pulling her by the hand so that she would follow him into his bedroom. There, he took his cell phone out of his backpack and put it on charge, as it had run out of battery during the day. I'll just charge my phone and show you, Mom. You'll see. He looks just like me, said the little boy, determined. The woman, still believing in his innocence, said she would make dinner in the meantime and walk it away thinking. So nice. This new little friend must be a really nice boy. After a while, as the woman was setting the table for dinner, she called her son to eat, and the boy came running with his cell phone in his hand. Just then, when she was ready to start eating, Lucas showed her his smartphone and revealed several photos he had taken with his new friend at school. They were pictures of him next to another boy, who, incredible as it seemed, was exactly like the her son. But before we continue with the story, we want to know, if you were in this mother's shoes, what would you do? Let us know in the comments. Now back to the story. 
Helena almost choked and felt her heart beat faster when she saw the photos. At first, her reaction was pure petrification and disbelief, because what she was seeing was not possible. That's impossible, she murmured, tears starting to form in her eyes. In the photo, Lucas and the other boy, who he said was named Gabriel, were smiling, with their arms over each other's shoulders, as if they had been twin brothers for a long time. He's so cool, Mom. We played together in the playground today. But he's not in my class, though, said the boy, not understanding his mother's reaction. Helena, however, was lost in thought. She clearly remembered the day Lucas was born, a difficult birth that resulted in only one baby, or so she had been told. That night, that mother hardly slept, tossing and turning in bed with the image of the photo hanging over her mind. What's worse, it was as if it all made sense now because her dream the night was about her son Lucas showing her a photo. What did it all mean? Was it some kind of premonition? And the little boy she'd always dreamed of but never seen the face of, was it Gabriel? Does my son really have a twin brother? And if so, what happened? But no, it doesn't make sense. I must be going mad, she thought her heart squeezing with a mixture of fear and hope. The next day, Helena decided to go to Lucas's school. She needed to see Gabriel with her own eyes. Her anxiety was eating away at her as she waited for the little boy to arrive. Finally, the boy appeared in the playground. Lucas said, there he is, mom, and ran towards his friend. That scene, the two little boys playing in the school playground, was exactly like the dream she'd had two nights before. It was too much of a coincidence to deny. And as the woman got closer to them, the resemblance between the boys was frightening. It was like seeing Lucas, double. The woman went into an inner panic that made her leave, telling her son that she would pick him up later. Helena needed to find out more about that boy. So she got his parents' contact details from the school board and went to their house. It was a fancy and beautiful home, and the poor cell phone case saleswoman felt a wave of nervousness as she approached the door. But she needed answers. She needed to understand what was going on. Helena rang the doorbell and felt her heart beating fast. When the couple answered the door, she said, e Sorry to bother you. I'm Helena, Lucas's mother. My son goes to the same school as your son, Gabriel. The little boy's parents invited her in, although they didn't know why she was there. At that moment, the woman showed them the photo Lucas had taken the day before and dropped the bombshell. I couldn't help but notice the incredible resemblance between my son and Gabriel. She began, her voice shaking. Mark and Claire exchanged surprised looks, almost terrified. Oh, oh my, my God, God they're, they're identical. identical. Helena, gathering her courage, shared her and her son's story and how he had shown her the photo. They both listened attentively, equally surprised by the situation. Did you adopt Gabriel? I'm sorry to ask, but I need to know. Claire, with tears in her eyes, nodded. Yes, we adopted our son when he was just a baby. A nurse arranged everything. She said that his mother couldn't look after him. The revelation made Helena's heart sink. She recalled her delivery, the complications, and the rapid separation from her son after birth. And do you have any information about his biological mother? Unfortunately, no, said Mark. It was all very quick and confusing. They didn't give us much information. Tears flowed down Helena's cheeks, and the couple realized that their stories were more intertwined than they had imagined. The feeling that something was wrong grew inside each of them. Helena then shared her life and pregnancy story with Mark and Claire. She showed photos of her and Lucas and also his birth certificate. I was pregnant with twins. She revealed, her voice laced with emotion. I always knew something was wrong because they told me that my other baby didn't survive the birth, but they wouldn't even let me see him. Gabriel's parents were shocked and at that moment the three of them were crying their eyes out. That explains so much, said the woman. I need to know, Helena said firmly, but looking at them with tears in her eyes. I need to know if Gabriel is my son. Mark and Claire agreed to carry out a DNA test. They also wanted the truth, not just for themselves, but especially for Gabriel and Lucas. In the days that followed, while waiting for the test results, the three adults were united in an agonizing wait. The little boys, oblivious to the situation, continued to play together, with the joy of their newfound brotherhood filling them with happiness. Finally, the day of the result arrived. The couple and Lucas's mother met at the doctor's office. The envelope was opened and the doctor's words rang through the air. The results confirm it. Gabriel and Lucas are twin brothers and Helena is the boy's biological mother. The woman cried, her tears of pain and joy mingling, 
pain at having been separated from her baby for seven years, and joy at having found him again. Mark and Claire hugged her, saying that they accepted her into the family, even if they still had to overcome this pain together. A new family formed by truth and love emerged that day. But what really happened? How was Gabriel separated from his mother and his twin brother? The discovery that the little boys, although identical, were actually brothers, led Helena and the couple on a journey to unravel the past. They decided to investigate together what happened on the day the woman gave birth. She remembered the nurse who attended to her, a woman who seemed kind but always quick and evasive. She told me that my other son hadn't survived, but I never saw the body, I never had any real confirmation. She said with anger in her voice. Mark and Claire, in turn, told how they met the nurse who arranged Gabriel's adoption. She told us that it was an emergency situation, that the baby's mother couldn't take care of him. Explained Claire. We wanted a child so much, we never thought to question the legality of the process. The three hired a detective, who after a few weeks of intense investigation, discovered that the nurse had left the hospital shortly after Helena's birth and had never been seen again. They also discovered that there were other suspicious cases involving the same woman. It seemed that she was involved in a network of illegal adoptions, selling babies to rich families desperate for a child. The news shocked the boy's parents, and this truth was darker and more tragic than they had imagined. As they dealt with the revelations, Helena, Mark, and Claire became closer and closer. They supported each other, united by their pain and their determination to get justice for the twins. The relationship between the two boys also grew stronger. Gabriel and Lucas were inseparable, sharing a bond that went beyond mere physical resemblance. They felt complete when they were together, as if they had finally found a missing part. As time went by, the true story of the little boys became known in the community. People were moved by the little ones who had been separated at birth and brought together by a stroke of fate. The small town where they lived united in support of the new family formed by the biological mother, the couple, and the twins. It was later discovered, as investigations continued, that the nurse had fled the country and that her chances of being caught were minimal. Despite the frustration at the lack of justice, Helena decided to focus on what really mattered, her children and the family they had become. The woman always said to the parents of her lost son, You are the parents Gabriel knows and loves. This will ever change. She recognized the love and care that the couple had always had for her little boy. Everyone was happy because now he would have the chance to grow up with his twin brother, Lucas. Gabriel and Lucas became known at school as the Miracle Twins, a story that enchanted and inspired everyone around them. The three parents regularly organized meetings and activities for the two families. They celebrated birthdays together, went on outings, and created new traditions. With each passing day, they formed a cohesive and loving unit. Gabriel also became very attached to his new mother and felt lucky to have two wonderful mothers. The little boy's words touched Helena deeply, marking a moment of healing and acceptance for all of them. It was later informed by the detective that the nurse and the gang she belonged to might never be caught. Unfortunately, not all stories have happy endings. The family chose not to let the search for justice consume their lives. They preferred to focus on the love and joy that the twins brought. The couple also gained another child in the end, and those five lives, people who had previously been strangers, became a beautiful and unlikely close-knit family. Helena, a mother who once felt incomplete due to the loss of a baby she had never met, now rejoiced in the presence of both her sons. She saw Gabriel and Lucas as the continuation of her journey, a journey that had begun with pain, but was now overflowing with love and gratitude. Time passed and the parents, now more than friends, planned vacations together, celebrated each other's achievements and supported each other in difficult times. The love they shared was a testament to the power of empathy, understanding, and forgiveness. The boys became beautiful teenagers and shared a connection that went beyond their physical appearance. They were best friends, confidants, and companions on adventures. Together they explored life with an insatiable curiosity, strengthened by the love and support of their two families. The story of those twins, of separation and reunion, became a symbol of hope and resilience. And they showed that even in the darkest circumstances, light can find its way home, transcending all the obstacles that fate tries to throw at us. And if you like this story, I'm sure the next video that pops up on your screen will move you too. Don't forget to subscribe.
give us a thumbs up and activate the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. See you in the next heartwarming story.